Here in the Lone Star State, we are known for our oil, cowboys, and barbecue. But what about birding? The Upper Texas Gulf Coast has some of the richest birding areas in all of North America. KPRC 2 Zach Lashway visited High Island on the Bolivar Peninsula, which is a hot spot for migrating birds. Morning. It is. Bird is a verb. <laughs> and birding attracts people from all over the world, especially this time of year. Texas in spring gives way to color on the ground and in the rookery, a cacophony of chirping. Honestly, it's the sounds of love. Uh. <laughs> Before the fog lifts, birds have begun their day and birders, some with binoculars, are watching. What is birding? Birding is, it's quite simple. It's just observing birds and identifying birds in their natural habitats. Pete Dykeman is land director at Houston Audubon. Birding in Southeast Texas is pretty extravagant. Would you call it a sport, a hobby? It's more of a hobby, but it can get competitive. Are these the birds you've seen today? Yes. Wow, just ask Ann Coon. I've been birding for like, probably about 15 or 20 years. Everybody's here for a different reason. Some people like to just sit and watch. I like to just see what I can find. Smith Oaks Bird Sanctuary is approximately 177 acres of fields, woods, and wetlands. It's part of Houston Audubon, which owns 4,100 acres throughout 11 counties in Southeast Texas. We're managing this habitat here so that they have a place to stop, rest, refuel, so that they can continue on to their breeding ground. You can see, you know, upwards of 300 different bird species. We have great egrets, snowy egrets, a roseate spoonbills, tricolored herons, and then we'll see what's flitting around in the trees. Roseate spoonbills are a favorite of most just because of their vibrant color and they're unique. That's a neotropic cormorant with nesting material. For many, their freedom is inspiring and this boardwalk provides a bird's eye view. Our borders are no barriers for birds. Some of these birds are traveling thousands and thousands of miles every year to get to the places they need to get to. One of the largest migratory corridors in North America is right here in Texas. It's positioned along the Gulf of Mexico between two main flyways, the Mississippi Flyway and the Central Flyway. In our sanctuary system here, in High Island, we get visitors from 48 different states and upwards of 20 different countries. What brings you to Southeast Texas? The birds. Susan Atkinson has flown in from Canada. She's here just for the birds. I love it. While watching, Susan is crowdsourcing information. So nesting birds and, and bird nests and bird young is important to record for the purposes of citizen science. What do you need for birding? What do you have right now? No binoculars. no binoculars? You're birding right now. A lot of fun. Before coming to Houston, I lived in Florida and would see alligators from time to time. This gator, my friends, is the largest gator I have ever seen. <laughs> it's about 10 feet in length. We also saw several turtles and snakes. So it's really important when you're walking around, not only to keep your eyes peeled to the skies, but yes. also where you're stepping. Yes. What did uh -huh. I just, No, that was okay. It was just a shadow. <laughs> just a shadow. Zach, what's the best time of year to go birding in Southeast Texas? Well, right now is a great time. You have the spring migratory season, and then again in the fall. Beautiful. Right. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Right? Yeah, up and down the, the Gulf Coast, it's incredible. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate it. Time for our weather.